right, so we're out here on two lots. Uh, one's an acre, one's an acre and a quarter. And uh, these are in escrow right now. We're actually uh, doing the due diligence portion of it, and we're looking at uh, the SEP system. We're doing a perk test today with the health department, uh, Southwest District Health. Um, we're actually out here in Wilder, and what we're doing is we're looking to see if the soil's good uh, in the areas that we want to put the uh, septic system. So we have to dig uh, these parcels side by side. We're digging two testicles. Um, and has, the testicle has to be within 50 feet of where the primary area or primary septic system area is going to be. So uh, I want to show you what we actually had to do in order to determine where these systems go, but the potentially can go and where the wells can go. Uh, these lots are small, so this is a whole subdivision. So you have to have a 100 foot setback from the well to the septic systems. So the, the actual properties that are next to it, adjacent to your rear property, affect and drive where you can put your well and where you can put your septic system. So let me uh, show you here the, what we actually, the document we did and uh, to actually figure this out. All right, so now I wanna show you this document that we prepared uh, that actually shows where you can actually put this well in the septic. So we pulled uh, septic as built from the County Health Department, which you can see here. And that is uh, this area, you'll see this here where this is a, a existing house and it shows you where the system is at. This is the primary system, this is the potential reserve area. So, and there's a lot you know assigned to this, which uh, APN number, which we actually come over here and then we find that lot and then we put this on here uh, as far as uh, we actually plot this. So you can see where the system is at here and then we have to have a hundred foot setback, uh, this, which is this blue line um, on each individual parcel here uh, from, each, from each septic system. So those, you can see this comes into, this is our property line here and how this affects our where we can actually put things in our well on our property. So it forces us to be outside of these blue lines for our well location, which uh, is going to force us to only put a well in this general area. So you can see all these blue lines, how they impact this property. You're going to see a little sliver here inside this yellow line where you can actually put this. And this is a, this yellow line represents a hundred foot setback from our well location. So we can be anywhere between the yellow line, but outside the blue lines, and this is how this impacts this. So um, that's lot one. Then you can actually come down here to lot two. And we've looked at, you know, the neighbor's lots here. So they come over here. I can't put a septic system anywhere in this area, you know, because of the neighbor's well, because I'll impact the neighbor's well. So what I've done is I put, you, know, you come over here and put the well on this side, and then we can move the septic system over here. So then our septic system now comes out 100 feet here. And then it, it doesn't impact our well area because we're, we're outside of a blue area here, but inside of a yellow area. And that gives us uh, our spot where we can put our well. And then it forces us to put our septic system in over here. If we slide our septic system this way, it'll actually impact where this well can go. Let's slide this well north on that location. So you can see there's another well here. This is 100 feet away here. So this actually comes on, uh, doesn't come onto our property, but it affects, yeah, it would limit this guy where he can actually he couldn't drill another well up in this area up here. So there's like, you got to, on these smaller lots, you got to prepare this prior. Potentially, if you had everybody impacting your lot negatively, you may not even actually be able to build your property. All right, so now we're actually going to go over, we're going to watch these guys actually dig this test hole and you can see how it's actually done. And we'll talk about it a little bit there. All right, so we're just wrapping up. This is the test hole on lot one and he's gone down 10 feet where they want him to actually go to on this one. And the soils look like they're about a, what they would call a B1, which is, it's got a little bit of gravel in it, but it's got, it's like a sandy loam. So it's a decent soil, which will help with the, the size of the system. We'll have to have quite a big of a system that you have to put in for this. So he's digging this with a little mini excavator. And we gotta be 50 feet from the actual uh, area that we're in a point the final resting place where this primary system goes. So that's what he's, uh, he's digging in that area within a 50 foot area right now. And we had, we were gonna dig a little bit closer to the road, but we're trying to stay outside the road. So you can see out here, looking at this, this is a subdivision here where you got a house over there. These are those houses we were looking at that actually impact the location of where we can put our well on our septic system. So. There's a property you know, down there you can see. So all these homes have a setback off their systems. This one in particular is a lot closer, but this this has a septic system on this side. So when you got two septic systems touching each other, it really impact you too much. All right, so he's just wrapping up a actually backfilling blade on Miniex, the test hole number one. 
and this is uh, decked soil. There is a sandy loam soil, so that, that's going to be good. And we dug down about 10, 10 11 feet uh, just to verify that we had it. got through the hard pan and very organic good soil. And then the inspector takes a look at that uh, to make sure to confirm that. And then he marks it with the TPS coordinate, so we know where that test hole was actually taken. And then he notates that against the parcel number, and then he's going to actually email us over a uh, system design that we recommend uh, with the size of the drain field uh, based on the soil type that we have here. So we're going to head over and actually dig uh, test hole number two on the second lot. We've got that flag over here. You see that There's a pink flag in the background. He's going to move over there and get that dug here next and make sure we got a good soil condition over here as well. All right, so now we're digging this test hole for lot two. What we've just found out what from the seller here is that this particular property, uh, lot two, when they did the subdivision here, and he, he actually did a boundary adjustment, uh, this area was designated for a fire department turnaround. So that's what this gravel is right here. So we can't put the subsystem right on there. So we're moving it over about 50 feet off of the uh, property line, which is going to be the, this will be the primary system. Uh, just. Uh, a little ways down, so this will be fine because we're about if we do something with the fire department, change the location of this, we can uh, we're still 50 feet within the property line, so we can move this over if we need to. The uh, primary system. So, uh, what if I uh, was talking to the septic inspector, is he wasn't too worried about this drop off right here that you're seeing as far as getting the system right up against the edge of it. If we needed to, if this fire department turnaround wasn't here, uh, he said it needed to be like a 45 degree angle or more, uh, and pretty and continuous to where they would be concerned about the like the septic uh, affluent leaching out of the ground. So he was okay with this. He said you get down lower, like in the steeper area, like down in that canyon, that that would be a problem. You have to have or either like a anywhere from like a 25, 50, or 75 foot setback, depending on the distance coming from or the de the actual depth and the steepness of that hill or ravine. So he'll dig down until he gets through the hard pan and then probably go down about a minimum of 10 feet just to double check, uh, see what our soil's looking like here. And the inspector, as he goes and does this, he's actually checking the soil. You can see him checking it there. He's getting that, he's notating his depths on his uh, report that he's doing. He's notating what type of soil at different depths. And that helps him to design what the actual system is uh, that we're going to put in. So we're still on test hole two here. And he's, you can see this layering down here. He actually just got through some hard pan. And now he's getting into some softer soil. See the layer there on the side, it's a little whiter. That's the hard pan. see the inspector is actually using some water that he shoots, he puts this, uh, sand in his hand, or the dirt in his hand, and then he uses this water to actually look and see if the sand consistency in this soil helps him to determine what type of soil that he's actually using, or actually that's actually coming out of the ground that he's, he's looking at. So he's identifying that and putting it on his report. So the inspector, now he's checking the depth, and then he's identifying what soil uh, is at what depths? Actually, about six feet now. All right, keep going. Yeah, well, you're right now about you're at eight. Yeah, you're actually at nine feet, but it probably started around uh, eight and a half. Let's see. No, you're right. Eight feet. No, you're right on. 
Alright, yeah, just, uh... Well, I, uh... You're nine feet. I'm fine with it. You guys, I guess I a few, a few more scoops, I guess we're fine. I'll say, yeah. I guess I grab a bit out there or something. Yeah. All right, so we're about wrapped up here with this test hole number two, and they've hit some fine sand down here that uh, almost looks like river sand. It just kind of falls apart on you here. You see, it's got a few rocks in it, and they're about 10 feet deep. Yeah, so um, you, can, you can backfill if you need to. All right. There's a hole. It's like a cavern. Go ahead and get that backfill now. way down there into that into that gravel kind of uh, soil. I mean, that would be an A soil. Uh, so it's probably enough to bring it in. Like six feet of sand. So six of, feet, that's a lot of sand. Just get to 48. I mean, yeah. Probably not your best end. I mean, that's a lot of sand. All right, so we just got done uh, with digging test hole one on lot one and test hole two on uh, lot two here. And the inspector determined that on lot one, we had a B2 soil and then on lot two, we got a B1 soil. So that'll determine the size of the system and the depth that we actually have to go down. He's got depths on those. So he'll get that back to us information on the design of the system that we have to put in within uh, about a week from now, he's gonna email that to us and then we'll be able to uh, move forward with getting a plot plan and then actually submitting that to them and then pulling a permit to get these septic systems put in when we uh, build our houses here. So, so yeah, so hope that was helpful in actually getting a visual on how you actually get a test hole dug and why you need to do it. And some of the considerations if you're in a small subdivision where you have smaller lots and how the other properties around you that have wells and septics can impact your lot. So, all right, so if you need help uh, buying land or if you're looking to build a home, uh, feel free to visit our website. Thank <laughs> you.